Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aremola Badmas. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So in this video, like I said, we were, we are going to talk about making some configuration changes. And we are just going to start with some simple things. And um, we will um, look at the project settings and uh, you will see that those things will change in the project settings once we refresh it and we check again. So the things, part of the things that we are going to change is the base URL. And I would explain why we would change the base URL. And in subsequent videos, you will see the effect of changing the base URL and uh, how it is um, now referenced. Then we would also want to bring this out, the Chrome Web Security. We would do that and uh, the default command, we will do that as well. One other thing that we would not change the folder structure. So one other thing that we would also do is um, we will look at the viewports to change the height and width specification. Those are the things that we'll look at for now. Then in subsequent videos, perhaps when we start um, BDD, we'll look at the spec pattern and um, we'll, take it, we'll take it from there. But now we'll leave it at the default config. So let's get right into it and um, let's start. So we first add the base URL, the base URL. Now it is worthy to mention that the new config of Cypress allows you, um, it allows an auto suggestion. So you don't need to like, um, unlike the challenges that people used to face in the old Cypress where they uh, spell this wrong, maybe when they go around and uh, probably give this a capital or probably they did not give this a capital they uh, change this one to this and um, they are wondering why it isn't working right now cypress um, has come up with an intelligence that was suggested to you and if it is wrong it would flag it out for you so you need to know you so you'll be able to know that it is uh, wrong so in this video i think um, for now we um, let's look at um, using this as a um, test um, site as usual so we are going to copy this source demo now do i want to use source demo i think i want to use something different this time around so um, i think um, i will want to use let's let's see um for now, let's just put, uh, for the sake of the class, let's just put a particular um, site to just show you that you can, what you can do there. So I'll just put source lab for now, but I assure you that by the time we won't start the next video, I'll have come up with a test site that I would use that would be of favor to us. So what this means is that if we try to launch anything right now, if we try to launch anything, because we have already put our URL here, we can make some changes to our code. So instead of having the URL stated here, all we just need to do is put a forward slash and the Cypress script would uh, pick up the URL from this config file. That's what it will do. So in the next one we want to do is the default command timeout. And uh, this one is not, it's, a, it's not a string, it's a value. So we just change it from four seconds that's 4,000 milliseconds, we change it to 10,000 milliseconds. So, which means that the default command timer should wait for 10 seconds before it times out. So, what that means is for every uh, command that you take, maybe a CY dot get, while your while CY dot get is trying to perform its function by locating the element, if it's going to take time, so it would wait 10 seconds while it keeps on retrying within that 10 seconds to get that particular element before it times out. That's what this means. So uh, the other thing that I want to do is the viewport. So we change the viewport height. It's not going to be, it's also going to be an integer value. So there's not going to be any quotes around it. So let's put the height at um, 900. It was initially 660. And uh, we'll put the width. It has automatically suggested for us. So let's put the width at 1400. 440 yeah let's put it this way so if we come back here right now 
it will give us an error and if we just reload it comes up again so we can go into that settings we can go into settings check the project settings what was happening so let me close and start it again and show you so in the project settings as you can see the base URL is no longer null it has given us this so later on we, we, we're going to change the test site and uh, when we change the test site and um, we you will see that this URL will change again what else did we change we changed the default command timeout now it is 10,000 milliseconds no longer for and uh, we changed the viewport height and the viewport width and that has shown so it means that um, on our tests on our test if we try to open this right now just as it is because we've already changed it to this it automatically brings this up and the one thing i can assure you is you can try this on your own if you do not use the um if you do not use the 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 if you don't use the base url config if you decide to put your url here there is a chance that your your the the page will load the page load different you will see a page load difference like this would load directly if you put your um, url here it will load directly but there's a chance that it might actually reload itself or it will take more time as compared to using this i have seen this i've experienced this before but i would like you to try it on your own too and observe the difference so in the next video we will start to write simple tests We've been able to discuss the folder structure in the previous video. Now we've been able to make some modifications and now you understand how to make those modifications on your cypress.config file. And um, so which means you know how to manipulate your configuration. And so in the next video, we will write our first Cypress script. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and also drop comments if you have questions or just drop comments for vote of confidence. Thank you to go a long way in helping me to do more videos. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.